Hello and welcome to Learn at Cloud Analytics, the channel where we explore the fascinating world of data analytics and cloud computing. In today's video, we'll be discussing how to explain our data analytics project in an interview using a health insurance project related to a multi-speciality hospital and how Power BI was used to analyze and present the data in an intuitive and easily understandable way. So let's say you're an interview for a data analyst or a business intelligence position and the interviewer asks you to explain a project you worked on related to a health insurance company and a multi-speciality hospital. Now you take a deep breath and begin to explain your approach. But first, let's set the start stage. The hospital in question was struggling to manage the vast amounts of data generated by its operations. With dozens of branches, thousands of patients and numerous insurance policies to manage, the hospital administrators and insurance providers were struggling to make informed decisions and optimize their operations. The situation was dire and urgent action was needed. Fortunately, the hospital's IT team was up to the task. They decided to use Power BI, a powerful business analytics tool to create an interactive report that would provide valuable insights into the hospital's operations. But could Power BI really help to turn things around? Let's find out. So the project involved, so this would be your first primary question, right? Which basically any interviewer might put across your uh, during the course of an interview, like asking you, could you please explain about what you have done in your previous project? Now here, how would you try to impress or how would you try to explain what you have done in the past project, right? So you could speak something like what the project is all about. So in which specific domain or what is that particular project that you will, that you have been involved in? So you could say that the project is a health insurance project. Uh, related to a multi-speciality hospital and it involves analyzing and presenting various aspects of the hospital's data using Power BI. And then you start to explain about what have you done there. So you could say that to begin with, the project involved data extraction from various sources such as hospital databases, insurance providers and government agencies. This data was then cleaned and transformed to ensure consistency and accuracy. And then, once the data was prepared, it was used to create an interactive Power BI report. The report contains several visualizations and dashboards, each focusing on a specific aspect of the hospital's operations. For example, one dashboard provides an overview of the total number of policies in the hospital, the amount paid for these policies, and the total claim amount. This dashboard can help hospital administrators and insurance providers to identify trends and patterns in insurance policy sales, premiums, and claims, and make informed decisions about policy pricing and coverage. Another dashboard focuses on the hospital's branches providing a breakdown of the number of branches, their location, and their performance metrics such as patient satisfaction and wait times. This dashboard can help hospital managers to optimize the hospital's operations, allocate resources more effectively, and improve the overall patient experience. The report also includes visualizations on the number of deaths and undeaths in the hospital, which can help hospital administrators to identify potential issues and take proactive measures to improve the patient outcomes. Throughout the project, the focus was on creating a user-friendly and intuitive Power BI report that provides valuable insights into the hospital's operations. By using Power BI to analyze and present the hospital's data, hospital administrators and insurance providers can make more informed decisions, optimize their operations, and ultimately improve the patient outcomes. So that is how you could explain about on a nutshell about your specific project. Now let's say that if the interviewer might be more specific and ask you like, okay, what exactly was the problem that you have identified and how were you able to resolve it using that particular analytics project? Now, in this case, how should you be able to approach to this question? 
So you could say something like, in this project, I have used Power BI to analyze and present various aspects of a health insurance project related to a multi-speciality hospital. During the course of the project, I have noticed that there was an issue with the hospital's claims processing, which was causing delays in payments and affecting patient outcomes. To identify the issue, I have used Power BI to create a report that focused on the hospital's claims processing metrics, such as the number of claims processed, the average processing time, and the number of rejected claims. By analyzing this data, I was able to identify a significant bottleneck in the claims processing workflow, which was causing delays and errors. Using this insight, I have created a new report that highlighted the bottleneck and proposed a solution to address it. The report included visualizations that showed the average processing time for each stage of the claims process, as well as the number of claims processed and rejected at each stage. It also included recommendations for how the hospital could improve its claims processing workflow, such as implementing automation and streamlining the claims review process. By presenting this report to hospital administrators and insurance providers, I was able to raise awareness of the issue and propose a solution to address it. Through collaboration and implementation of the recommended changes, the hospital was able to significantly reduce the processing times and improve patient outcomes. Overall, my work in identifying and resolving this issue through a Power BI report highlights the power of this tool to provide valuable insights and drive actionable change in healthcare organizations. By leveraging Power BI to analyze and present data in a user-friendly and intuitive way, I was able to make a meaningful impact on the hospital's operations and ultimately improve patient outcomes. Okay, now comes the next question, which could be more in, in specific saying that, okay, now that we, we were able to put across the objective of the project and what have you identified the issue and how you were able to resolve it. Now, maybe the interview now likes to understand what were the different types of charts that you have used in that particular project, right? So that he will be able to understand what is your level of understanding of using the right charts for that particular specific requirements. So you could explain that. So here I have just chosen on a generic basis based on this particular example. So you could use a bar chart saying that why it is needed and how you were able to use it for this specific requirement. So you could say that uh, bar charts were used to display the total number of policies in the hospital and the total number of hospital branches. And then you can also talk about the type of chart, why it has been used for this specific requirement. Saying like, since uh, bar charts are best fit for representing a categorical data, I have used a specific chart to analyze or display these two particular metrics. Then. You can also talk about the line chart where you could say that line charts in generic are quite helpful when showing trends and patterns over time. And that would also help us to highlight any significant changes or anomalies in the data. And then you can talk about in which specific uh, requirement did you use this particular line chart? So you could say something like you have used this particular chart to display the trend of the total amount paid for paid for policies and the total claim amount over time and then we have the pie charts so similar to the bar and line charts here you can also go for a pie chart so pie charts are quite effective when you'd like to display the proportion of different categories in the data so here we have used this type of a chart specifically to display the distribution of different types of policies and the number of deaths and undeaths in the hospital. And then the stack column charts. So these are being used to display the breakdown of claims by type and status. And then you can talk about this chart saying, it is quite helpful to display the 
composition of data that has got multiple categories and subcategories and then we have the maps so maps are being used to display the locations of hospital branches and their performance metrics such as patient satisfaction and wait times so since maps are quite effective in displaying geographical data this chart has been chosen for this particular requirement so this is how you can put across all the different types of charts that you have used in the project and how they were useful to display that particular uh, data in an effective way and then maybe you can put a small line across every chart why you have used it and what is the importance of that particular chart so in this way if you've been able to explain each and every part of the project in a detailed way uh, it would be quite helpful to make your chances of getting the interviewer in a positive manner so and uh, that's it for today's video so we hope you understood and found this discussion helpful and understanding how to explain a data analytics project specifically about the health insurance project related to a multi-speciality hospital and how power bi was used to analyze and present the data remember when asked about a project you worked on it's important to emphasize the steps you took to prepare the data the visualizations and dashboards you used and the insights you gained from the data if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends and colleagues. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to Learn at Cloud Analytics for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. But wait for a minute. So if you're looking for this particular content to be used for the, your specific project, don't worry. I'll be sharing this document on my GitHub, which, for which the link would be shared in the description and you can just download and use it and customize it accordingly. Thank you.